Catch cans. Half of you think you need one, half of you think it's a load of bogus hocus pocus. Today we're going to talk about what a catch can is, what cars might need it, and how you might see some improvements in installing one. Let's get into the video. So the basic version of an explanation of what a catch can is, is your crankcase builds up this pressure and essentially you have positive crankcase ventilation and what happens when your engine runs, some of the blow-by comes, sneaks past your piston rings, rings. I have a little, little photo or something here, but yeah, basically as your engine turns over, a little bit of blow-by sneaks past, a little vapor sneaks past your piston rings and goes into your engine, right? And you need that, you need somewhere for that uh, positive or whatever, your crankcase ventilation, it needs to go somewhere, right? And that vapor contains oil, contains like different sort of um, moistures and all that kind of stuff. So it needs somewhere to go. So basically how manufacturers uh, combat this is what they do is they plumb it from usually the top of the rocket cover. Sometimes it's literally a valve. Sometimes it's built into the rocket cover but basically that plums back to your intake, okay? So it builds up all this vapor from your piston rings or whatever. It, it comes, sneaks past this blow-by, goes up to the top, rises to the top and comes back into usually where your turbo intake is, or if you don't have a turbo, your intake pipe. Um, I have a photo here you can see it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have a, can, uh, a catch can installed now, it's pretty highly debated on whether this is beneficial for modern diesels or not. But in most cases, what happens is it keeps going, keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps feeding oil into your intake. And it's it's just not great for the engine. It's not the worst thing. There is definitely worse things you can do to your engine, but eventually it builds up, builds up, builds up. And you have this oil, this sludge sort of formula that starts to build up over time. So the reason why old diesels can benefit more to having a catch can is because obviously they're older. So think of like your, your TD42, your 1HZ, all that kind of stuff, your ZD30. The older your car is, probably the more worn your piston rings are, which mean it can have more blow by. Now, usually the older diesels don't really have EGRs and stuff, but even saying that, because your piston rings are pretty worn out, you're looking at engines that are like 20 years old now. So yeah, what a catch can does is it keeps that under control. It basically adds a filter in between your uh, crankcase ventilation breather pipe to your intake. And in between there, it splits it and it catches all the oil through a filtration system. That's essentially all it does. So it stops oil being fed straight back into your intake, which sounds like a good thing. But if they're not installed properly or they're plumbed up wrong, which can happen on most cases, a lot of people say, oh, catch cans are fucking shit, but they don't know how to actually install them correctly. You need to follow the instructions that came with it or you need to actually research how to do it. Okay, now it's gonna be different for every single catch can manufacturer and stuff like that. They're usually the same, they're usually universal because all you're doing is you're cutting open your breather crankcase pipe and you're pretty much putting filter there, right? So it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Another thing that can cause a big issue is not emptying your crankcase, um, your catch can crankcase filter system enough it can catch a lot of oil and if you let that oil build up it's going to blow seals or if if you're not if it's not plumbed up right your crankcase needs to go somewhere right and if you just you restrict your system so it literally can't go anywhere anymore like if you blocked off your rocker cover pcv valve or whatever it is then your engine will run shit and also it'll blow every kind of seal right and that's the main issue a lot of people say oh my engine's blowing seals because i installed a catch can catch, can catch cans are shit that's not the case you've just done it wrong okay so make sure you research make sure you know actually how to install it correctly and you're not going to have any issues so just some quick recommendations obviously provent it's a really good one i would avoid the ebay cheap ones now a really good catch can setup is gonna set you back like 500 600 dollars usually you can get like a dual kit which is like a secondary full filter and a provent catch can type deal um those are the ones that i recommend i'm not affiliated but i would love to be affiliated if you're watching this but yeah those are the better brands to be honest like the ebay ones i've tried i've tried the universal ones and they're just they're just a bit shit. like they don't seal properly they leak so just to wrap it up right catch cans are useful okay it depends on the application now i personally talk about diesel catch cans right 
I don't really know too much about petrol catch cans and all that sort of differences. I would assume it's the same. Let me know in the comments down below. But essentially what you're doing with a catch can is you're taking your positive crankcase vapor, which is pretty much blow by from the engine that comes sneaks past your pistons, right? And the modern day diesel doesn't have much blow by, right? These MPs are very, very good. Uh, I'm sure the Hiluxes are the same all that all the different brands are the same for brand new cars but if you're older cars your piston wings are a little bit more worn a little bit more worn your cars are, your engine's struggling a little bit like it's getting a little bit tired it's usually the uh expression that we use in the mechanic world right so you have all this blow by go by and the more it wears out the more it goes and it has to go somewhere and then you get more and more oil going straight into your intake again right and that's what it is because your diesel needs somewhere to go the vapors need somewhere to go right you can't you can't just leave it like that like enclosed because you'll just blow your remain or you'll blow your timing cover seal or whatever it is right so all you're doing is you're putting a catch can filtration system basically that's all it is in between those two lines and you're catching all that oil and it's not going back into your intake so theoretically you should have a smoother running um engine you're kind of pushing the longevity of the engine i would say um <clears throat> but i'm keen to know how everyone has gone about doing one of these and how you guys have found catch cans installs and tell me specifically which brand you've used this car does not have a catch can yet i'm going to be doing a catch can and secondary fuel filter install video soon maybe in the next couple of weeks or whatever but um yeah, that's going to be wrapped up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something as well. Again, comment down below which catch can you've installed on what vehicle as well and what engine. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.